You are finally going back home from work. You can relax now. Home sweet home, as they say. But what would you do if one day you lost everything that you consider normal and take for granted? What would you do if you suddenly found yourself in a strange, unfamiliar place where temperatures by day reach 40 degrees Celsius and the earth is a hard, dry crust? You would surely get thirsty very soon. But what's this? Where's the tap with the clean cold water? No problem. You can just get a few people together and dig a well. Is something wrong? Oh, you need to go to the toilet. Unfortunately, there are no toilets here. Maybe you could build a latrine. Hmm, you don't have any construction materials or money to buy them, and you have no idea how long you'll be staying here. Many people around the world are just in that type of situation. 10% of Somalis suffers from these problems as a result of war and drought. When you live in a country whose state system doesn't work and you have to move all the time for safety reasons, then it's very difficult to make sure that your basic needs are met. Since 2013, thanks to the funds we have received from ECHO, or the EU Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection Department, we have been providing people with access to clean water and suitable sanitary conditions. The things we do in the camps are known as WASH. WASH is short for water, sanitation and hygiene. Water is the most important. Therefore, to be able to help effectively, first we talk to the camp habitants to agree the place and the method of work, and then, depending on their needs, we build and repair safe water sources, for example, shallow wells, boreholes, or underground water tanks. We also build sanitation facilities. Water is required not only for drinking and cooking meals, but also for hygiene and general health, just like sanitation facilities. When each day is a struggle for survival, washing hands and protecting food from insects may seem less important. That is why we educate children and adults how to observe the rules of maintaining hygiene in such difficult conditions. When the choice is between buying a new broom and buying food for children, the answer is quite obvious. That is why we also distribute household equipment, such as buckets, brooms and jerry cans, to help housekeeping easier. Every day we improve the quality of life of many people, and in return we learn from them how to appreciate each day. Can you appreciate how much you have? And do you know how to share these things with others?